Hey guys, we've got very exciting music for the second ending of Azami's. Did everything exactly the same, except this time we are going to bring up her martial arts, which probably isn't going to get her together with poor Mr. Rabu over here, or Mr. Fonza Bean, or whatever we're calling him now. But they had their happy ending in a parallel universe, and now it's time for my happy ending with Azami, maybe? Maybe this is where it's going to go? I don't know. Let's bring up the martial arts. Azami, I don't think you've forgotten, Mr. Fava Bean. What's all this, Kawaii? I think you think about him all the time, even now. What are you talking about, kid? You practice your elegant kicking technique every day, right? You've been preparing a special move for your reunion with him, right? K kicks You're right, I have. Grit your teeth, Mr. Fava Bean. You'll regret dumping me until the day you die. Oh no. Oh no. Wump! Thud! And so the oasis of soothing parakeetitude was transformed into a scene of avian fury. The wrath of God falling to earth in the guise of a sparrow's legs. <laughs> but did Mr. Fava Bean survive? <laughs> Guess we don't care about him. I'll decimate my summer homework with the force of a raging bull. Next up is the individual research project. I want to research something that will only take one day. But I don't really have any ideas. Anyway, I'll take a stroll around town and see if I can't find an interesting topic. Huh? Standing in front of a used bike shop is... A zombie? Oh no, she's selling her bike. Ugh. Oh, it's you. Kids like you should head home and get some sleep already. Asami, were you crying? What are you talking about? Don't make fun of me. S sorry, but as your protege, I really am worried about you. Making my half-grown protege worry. I must be losing my edge. When I look around, her trademark pink scooter is nowhere to be seen. And she came out of the used bike shop, which means... No way. Did you sell your bike? If you're having second thoughts, I'll go take it back for you. No, it's fine. This is my way of ending things. And now that it's over, I'll look to the future. That is the way of the sparrow. The way of the sparrow. That sounds pretty cool. Goodbye, Mr. Fava Bean. It's time for me to move on. Hey, you there. Hold on a sec. The punctions are back. You were the guys who picked a fight with my cute followers, huh? Get them, bro. Get them. It's the gang of bad birdies from before. The slowly fade out of existence. So you brought your friends. Checks like you should be at home washing their beaks and getting ready for bed. Don't look down on us. We brought our best fighters to pay you back. You better be ready. These doves are strong. Ganging up on her isn't fair, you punctions. Azami, I'll help too. The punctions come at us one after another. In just an instant, the nighttime city transforms into a violent battlefield. Azami lays the smack down with her magnificent sparrow kick. And I pulverize everything with my fists of fury. We're at a huge disadvantage, but Azami and I pull through and live to see the dawn. Huh. I always thought you were something special, but you've gotten pretty strong. No, I still have a long ways to go. No, you're already a true sparrow. I I'm a sparrow? What do you mean, Azami? I'm 100% human. You know, nobody's bur born a sparrow. You overcome obstacles and suffer hardships, but still always move forward. That's what makes some birdie a sparrow. Your kindness, your strength, your way of life. Everything about you screams sparrow. From this day forth, hold your head high and call yourself a sparrow. Asami. I am a sparrow. Sparrow Kawaii-chan. And no punction is a match for me. I feel it in my bones. I can trust you. If we're together, there's nothing we can't do. I'll be counting on you, kid. Yeah. 
A zombie and I formed a new all-girl delinquent gang. <laughs> Only our souls run wild. Our wild birds embody that noble spirit as we drove through the night, never once breaking any traffic laws. And so we became legends of the Midnight Roads. Wow. And now we can roll the credits. All right. All right. A delinquent all-girl gang riding the midnight roads, never breaking the laws. What a great Azami ending for us. To be the true Java Sparrow. Who would have known that a human girl could become an actual sparrow? Okay, that was an actual ending. Do we have anything in our archive, though? It looks like something filled up. I can't remember what we had, though. I should have looked. Okay, I think we read this. We read that. Okay, I don't think we've read this one. Goodwill Ambassador Selection. Selection criteria for the Human Ambassador have been forwarded to management, along with a draft of the Emergency Response Manual. And given the risk of influenza, a human with as strong and natural immunity as possible is desirable. The presence of hereditary immunoglobins is the most important criterion. Others are detailed in the attached documents. Okay. So we're the human ambassador, we know that. I think we read that. Yes. Read that. And that. Okay, so it was just number four. Okay. So we have a high immunity. I guess that's why our vitality is so high. And we were specifically requested by the doctor to come here. I guess he's experimenting on us somehow in the true ending. Hmm. All right, well, the plot thickens. We learned a little bit more from Azami. Who would have known, eh? Anyway, those were some very cute endings. Very short, but very cute and pretty neat. Gotta admit. But that is all for Hottiful Boyfriend for now. Now we gotta go back to Lucky Rabbit Reflex, and there's another guy that we're gonna go and romance. Sweet, sweet purr. We met him oh so long ago, and I can finally romance him. It's gonna be great. He might be a dark horse for best boy in that game. Who knows? I'm excited to find out. Hope you are too, and I hope I shall see you over there, guys. Thanks again for watching, and until then, I'll see you later.